Sunday did not deter supporters of President Felix Tshisekedi from making their way to rally in Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Fatshi, as he is known at home, kicked off his official campaign for the December 20th elections. He is vying against 25 presidential hopefuls. Alphonse, a supporter of the ruling UDPS, doubled down. I have come to give uh, to give him a standing of your ovation. Rain or sunshine, there is only Felix Tshisekedi, no one else. Tshisekedi says a return to calm in the war-torn East is his priority, along with improving services and economy, building roads, and respecting freedom of speech and of the press. Opposition leader have called his record disastrous. On December 20th, some 44 million registered voters will vote in general elections. In total, there are a record of 25,832 candidates for the legislative elections, 22,110 for provincial bodies and 31,234 for municipal councils, according to the Electoral Commission, Seni, which faces the struggle of organizing voting across the country's 2.3 million square kilometers and limited infrastructure. There is a political will to stick to the electoral calendar, but there are doubts about the technical feasibility, said Treza Kibangula, a political analyst at the Ebutel Research Institute. The east of the country has been rocked by fighting for three decades and violence is surging again after the M23 group supported by Rwanda recently occupied much of North Kivu province. The fighting will prevent normal voting in two territories in the province, but the whole process would be threatened if rebels take the provincial capital, Goma. M23 will not take Goma incited Tshisekedi. His record is mixed, according to analysts, and disastrous according to the opposition, which is already warning of massive fraud. In addition to Fayuru, who claims he was robbed of victory in 2018, the main opposition candidates are Moyes Katumbi, former governor of the Katanga mining region, Dr. Denisi Mukwenge, who received 
the Nobel Peace Prize in 2018 for his work with victims of sexual violence and two former prime ministers. Since there is only one round of voting, some observers say it makes it easy for the incumbent to win. However, representatives of five law leading opposition groups met this week in South Africa to study the possibility of proposing a single candidate. A coalition has been formed and a common platform adopted but Fayulu has yet to adhere. Voters are mixed about the value of voting. Eunice, a 20-year-old geographic student, says she is happy to be voting for the first time. Open the door, one thing certain, I'll always yeah. be. 